dynamic disk designs introduces a multi-level cervical C1 through C7 model. Developed with dynamic disks, now one can show lateral flexion dynamic flexion, dynamic extension, and rotation, including the cruciform ligament. Also included in this model is a C67 central herniating nucleus pulposus. Under flexion load, one can demonstrate how the nucleus pushes posteriorly into the spinal canal, as seen here in red. Herniation into the central canal can cause encroachment syndromes by pressing on nerve roots and also the cord. Explore what dynamic disc designs can do to improve your patient education to improve clinical outcomes.